Jean Baptiste Joseph Gobel, the 1st of September 1727 to the 13th of April 1794, was a French Catholic cleric and politician of the Revolution. He was executed during the Reign of Terror. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> 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 Gobel was born in the town of Than in Alsace to a lawyer to the Sovereign Council of Alsace and tax collector for the Seigneury of Than. After outstanding success in his early schooling in Porentrui, he studied at the Jesuit College in Colmar, then theology in the German College in Rome, from which he graduated in 1743. <laughs> <laughs> Clerical career Gobel was ordained a Catholic priest in 1750 and then became a member of the cathedral chapter of the Prince Bishop of Basel, Simon Nikolaus Eusebe von Montjoy Hirsingen, based in Porentrui. In 1771 he was appointed the auxiliary bishop of the diocese for the section that was situated in French territory, being named by the Holy See as a titular bishop in Partibus of Lida. He consecrated the next prince bishop, Friedrich Ludwig Franz von Wangen zu Geraldsick, on 3 March 1776. Found to have been living beyond his means, he was relieved of his duties by Wangen zu Geraldsick's successor, Franz Joseph Sigismund von Roggenbach, in 1782. After this he began to espouse «reformist» ideas. His political life began when he was elected deputy to the Estates General of 1789 by the clergy of the bailiwick of Hunning. The turning point of his life was Goebel's action in taking the oath of the civil constitution of the clergy the 3rd of January 1791, in favor of which he had declared himself since 5 May 1790. The document gave the appointment of priests to the electoral assemblies, and, after taking the oath, Goebel had become so popular that he was elected constitutional bishop in several dioceses. He chose the Archbishopric of Paris, and in spite of the difficulties which he had to encounter before he could enter into possession, he took up office on 17 March 1791 and was consecrated on 27 March by eight bishops, including Charles Maurice de Talleyrand. This action was rejected by the Holy See, which has never recognized him as a legitimate holder of the office, and continues to hold the canonical Archbishop, Antoine Eleonore Léon Le Clerc de Junier, as the legitimate Archbishop of Paris during that period. Politics On 8 November 1792, Goebel was appointed administrator of Paris. His public display of anti-clericalism was most likely a careful tactic to ensure the sympathy of politicians, among other things, he declared himself opposed to clerical celibacy. On the 17th Brumaire in the year 2, the 7th of November 1793, he came before the bar of the National Convention for his activities as civil commissioner in Porentrui, and, in a famous scene, resigned his episcopal functions, proclaiming that he did so for love of the people, and through respect for their wishes. The previous night, a delegation from the commune led by Ebert, Chamet and Klutz had demanded that he publicly renounce his faith or be put to death by the people. The followers of Jacques Ebert, who were then pursuing their anti-Christian policy, claimed Goebel as their representative. At the same time, Ebert's rival Maximilien Robespierre viewed Goebel as an atheist, although he was not accused of apostasy, and never publicly professed atheism. Robespierre's vision of a deist cult of the supreme being was threatened by the opposition of atheist Ebertists see cult of reason, and Goebel shared the fate of the latter. Imprisoned, he was found guilty of the so-called Luxembourg prison plot together with Chamet, Lucille de Molins, wife of the recently executed Camille de Molins, Françoise Hebert, wife of the recently executed Ebert, and an assortment of other prisoners of various types. All of the alleged conspirators were sentenced to death on the morning of the 13th of April and guillotined that same afternoon. Equals equals notes. <laughs>